Hey guys, welcome back to another one on Tactitude and today we'll be reviewing the Amazon Echo. So let's get started. Before we start with the video, I'll ask you to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon just beside that so that you get notified about my new videos that I post about Alexa and such other stuff. See, she's still listening. So starting with the contents of the box, you get the Amazon power adapter that powers the Echo and also you get the Amazon Echo itself. So this is the Amazon Echo that is the mid variant of the Amazon Smart Assistants and uh, this has a price of about 7,999 right now. I bought it at a, at a price of 9,000 bucks at that time, uh, like about a couple of months ago. But this is a pretty good seal at this price point right now. So and essentially the whole outer covering is just a skin that's applied to the ba uh, basic components of Alexa. So if you push it from below, you see this whole cover, this is empty. So yeah, uh, that's just there to give it a protective casing. Uh, and this is the actual unit that uh, that's there. And you can see that there is a 2.5 inch driver unit here, which drives the audio output and gives a good bass uh, compared to a, a lot of smart speakers out there. It's a good sound uh, Bluetooth speaker also you can say. So this is uh, this is the power uh, input. So uh, you the power cable goes in here and you have to keep it connected all the time for Alexa to work. It's not battery operated uh, and so that's how it works. And you've got an aux out cable here as well. So if you want to connect an aux cable from the output of this to another speaker of yours, you can do that and uh, you can play whatever song Alexa is playing to another speaker uh, that you have, a Bluetooth speaker which has an aux port. So yeah, that's there for that. And yeah, that's pretty much it from the hardware point of view. Yeah, you've got two, four buttons here. Uh, this is the volume up button, volume down button. This is the button to mute. So when you don't want Alexa to listen what rubbish you're speaking about, you can just turn it off. Or if you want a conversations to be private, surely do turn it off. Because Alexa, there, were, there has been an issue where Alexa listened to a whole conversation of a couple and it sent out some orders or something. So yeah, that's that. And and this button is there to wake up Alexa manually from this button. If you don't feel like calling out to Alexa, you can just play, press this button and it will wake up and you can say your commands straight up. So I'll put it back in, back in the protective uh, casing. Once it's there, uh, looks pretty good. I like the look of this gray one. Although it's gotten a bit dirty, I don't know if you can see this, but it's gotten a bit dirty right now. Um, so yeah, and to get started, you just need to put in the power cable. Just put it in there and after a few seconds, you will see a certain kind of a blue light come in. And that means Alexa is waking up. Uh, so we let it wake up. A couple of uh, things that I wanted to tell you about the first time setup that I went through this. Uh, so the first time you do this, you have to download the Alexa app on your mobile and you'll have to search for uh, devices nearby and it searches this. Once you've done that, uh, Alexa would ask, sorry, I'll just mute it for now. So once you do this, uh, Alexa, uh, the Alexa app on your mobile would ask you to connect to a Wi-Fi so that the Alexa smart assistant can stay connected to the Wi-Fi all the time, which is required for it to work for all your commands. So it's basically an online assistant. It doesn't work offline. It's not that you are not connected to the internet and it'll still tell you what 17 into 5 like I did in the previous video. So it's, it, it still has to be connected to that. And uh, this looks a bit dangerous though, right? So, yeah, I still think it's listening to me, but anyways. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it about the setup. And once you're done with that, you can tweak around the, with the settings to add certain uh, friends, callers, uh, smart homes, uh, smart home devices, which I'll get back uh, with after some time in this video. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it about the setup. So to wake up Alexa, all you have to say is that one magical word. Alexa and you see uh, with the help of these seven microphones here Alexa can pick up uh, your voice from a lot of places even far off in your home Alexa 
Alexa. 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 So right now I'll show you the commands that Alexa responds to. So we'll start with some basic calculations. Alexa, what's 17 into 19? 17 multiplied by 19 equals 323. I wouldn't even go ahead and confirm that because I know she's better than me in mathematics. You just have to say the word Alexa to wake it up and it can start listening to your conversations. Mm -hmm. So in that way, you know, like whenever you're talking about it, you're taking its name, it suddenly starts listening to you. Sometimes even on the television when uh, uh, an advertisement about Alexa is coming, it starts listening to the same and gives the answer for the same question that's been asked there. So that's, that's something that could have been done a bit better because, you know, other smart assistants like uh, Google Assistant or maybe even Bixby, they have a certain word as is, uh, associated with it before you can wake it up. So like, hey Google, so that hey comes between, before Google. So if there's no hey before Google, it does not wake up. Similarly, hey Bixby or hi Bixby to wake up the Samsung uh, smart assistant, not just Bixby. So that's something that is good as well to make the conversation a bit natural. So, you know, you just say Alexa and you, she starts listening. But sometimes it starts listening when you do not want it to. So that's something that should have been done a bit better. That's one of the issues that I face sometimes. So I'll continue with this. Alexa, what's the weather like today? Right now in Bangalore, Karnataka, it's 27 degrees Celsius with partly sunny skies. Today's forecast has lots of clouds with a high of 28 degrees and a low of 20 degrees. Okay, so that was a bit descriptive uh, with all the highs and lows. So these are some basic, basic ones. I'll ask a few more things. Alexa, who is the Prime Minister of India? India's Prime Minister is Narendra Modi. Okay, that's, that's correct. Uh, Alexa, who is the Prime Minister of the United States of America? The United States has a President, not a Prime Minister. Donald Trump has been President since the 20th of January 2017. She found out that there's no prime minister but a president, so that's smart. That's where I'll call it, call it smart. Maybe I'm a bit unsmart, but that's okay. Uh, so that's a few of the basic questions. Now I'll uh, ask you to play a song. Alexa, play Animals by Martin Garrix. Here's Animals by Martin Garrix. You can see that's pretty good. Like, and you can listen at the bass as well. I'll increase the volume. You can increase the volume as well. You can also skip ahead to the tracks. So, Alexa. See, it can listen in between songs as well. here as well is that it cannot recognize songs that have a certain accent to it or certain like it's in another language or something so maybe with Hindi songs it does not requ uh, recognize many of them so like in, in one of my previous videos as well 
uh, you could see that you know I'll just link it up here on the card so you can watch it and see how it responds to a few Hindi songs. So that can be with some other languages as well. So I'll just show you one example of that. Alexa, play Ishare Tere. Sai Tere Shirdi Ki Shan from Savan. So you, you can see, you can hear that, right? I asked you to play some other song and now it's playing some other devotional song right now. Whereas I wanted a party song to be played. So even that's okay. Alexa, stop. So yeah, that's that's pretty much like what Alexa can listen to and respond to. Um, yeah. I'll talk about the uh, Alexa app right now. Stop. <laughs> that keeps happening a lot. Uh, I'll mute it. So the Alexa app has a lot of options and you can add new skills to Alexa uh, by using the skills menu in the Alexa app. So skills menu is basically an app store for Alexa. So people build skills and launch it there so you can you have skills for IPL matches you can ask for scores of IPL matches actually I forgot about the match scores as well what's the score of yesterday's cricket match on day four of the match England is batting at 311 for nine in the second innings so I'll just show you my smart home setup right now so it's just limited to this area so uh, so we have this smart switchboard. So this is uh, connected to three things. One is the lights here. The second is the whole TV setup here. And the third is that Xbox there. So once I, so I have named this whole setup as a uh, dining room. And when I ask to switch on the dining room, this gets switched on. So just see and see how it works. Alexa, switch on dining room. So you see, okay. the lights lit up here, the TV is on, and I can even switch on the Xbox here. So yeah, that's how it helps with the smart home setup. So you can see one more uh, uh, thing that I've done. I've set up a command so that when I say goodnight, uh, it switches off all the smart home devices that I've connected with it. So I'll just show you that. Alexa, good night. Okay. So you can see all, all of the devices have here have been turned off and you can see the lights are off here so that means the switches have been turned off. So yeah guys, uh, that's pretty much it from my end for the video. I have uh, pretty much covered um, most of the things that I've interacted with with Alexa and uh, have a, had a good experience till now. It's a good Bluetooth speaker, a good smart assistant at the price that I've got it at. I don't regret buying it uh, for that price. I know it's available at a much cheaper price right now, but that's how it goes with electronic stuff, right? Yeah, that's pretty much it for, for my video right now. Do hit the subscribe button that comes below the video and also hit the bell icon whichever side it appears and so that you know you get notified about my new videos that I keep uh, making uh, in a few days, in months, maybe years. Uh, yeah, uh, whenever I can make it. Just kidding, I will keep making regular videos. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I am Tejasvi signing off from TechTube. See you in the next one guys.